Hello. Hello, everybody. Today is a rather odd review. It's yeah. not fountain pen review related. It's kind of a hobby obsession. Yeah. Video games. So I so, was at a little local store called, called EXOR Games. XOR Games? XOR Games. I don't know how to pronounce it. And you bought a candy. Yeah. Pack. It's like <laughs> orange swords. And I love Orange the tin. sword sours. Mm. And I love the tin. It's it comes in a little tin. Cool. Really cool tin. I think how are the candies? <laughs> They're good. Did you eat them all? Let's yeah. look inside and see if you ate them all. Did you eat them all? Are there mm -hmm. some in there for me? There are none in there for me. We're doing a review with nothing in it. So anyway, cool box. I like it. It's made yeah, of tin. Yeah, we're going to talk about the tin. Yeah, I like the tin. Point. It's really cool. I like it. So you basically are a big Zelda fan? Yeah, I am. You're a video geek, The right? biggest geek and slash like dweeb or whatever. Yeah. Um, nerd. And you ate all the everything. candy. Yeah. And, um, But... I shared it with people. You shared it. Was yeah. Oh wait, there's something inside. <laughs> okay, as you can probably <laughs> tell, I it's not just an empty tin. You have taken this tin and ate all the candy on me without giving me. I any. gave you some. Did you give me one? I can't remember. Yes, I offered you it multiple times. Oh, okay. And then you've taken it and you've turned it into a little diorama, and that is Link. On a beach with it's, the ocean below. That's the what. Yeah. He's on a sandy beach. There's like little shrubs around him. That's the ocean. There's some driftwood. This is an opening scene from a famous video game, yes. isn't it? It is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And you have recreated it in the tin with some. You've made a little sculpture. Stuff. Yeah. And you've used resin? So. And sand. I'll tell you the process. Oh, wait. And there's a sword sticking out up there. Yeah. The blade. It that's, was cool. Quite that is very the dangerous. To make this. Yeah, I just didn't want to make the handle. So how did you do this? So first, I kind of put a piece of paper so I could have a slope on mm -hmm. the sand. Right. And then I mixed up some battle snow with. What's a, battle snow? It's just very fine, small grains of white uh, material, mm -hmm. so it can get like high detail, mm -hmm. and it makes it look like not just giant boulders of sand or snow it's like tiny um fine grains because that kind of thing can make a huge difference on such a small scale so what i did was i dyed it like a light brown and i sprinkled it on mm -hmm. with some glue right and then i sprinkled it on underneath the water under the water too yep well that's well yeah because on at the yeah. beach there's sand under the water and then that i let that dry right and i mixed up some blue paint into some um uv resin uv what's uv resin uv resin is a type of resin that you can just cure with a uv light right. it is the best thing humans have ever created i thought sliced bread was <laughs> no oh. um so <clears throat> i poured on extra uv resin to dilute it a bit mm-hmm and then I cured it. Mm -hmm. I added, I mixed UV resin and some of the battle snow mm -hmm. to make a kind of sea foam. Oh, yeah. So where that's the, what that the, is. Where the surf is breaking on yeah. the shore. And some parts in the water. So that looks pretty good, I like to think. That looks really good. Yeah, so I put that on, cured it all. Mm -hmm. And then I sculpted Link, which was fun. It's very small. Mm -hmm. It was very hard i like had an unfurled i'm pretty sure it was like a paper clip which right. i sculpted on so he used a paper clip as an armature yes um to make his whole body mm -hmm. and then i painted him and you put you put the the sculpting material around the paper clip yes what did you use to sculpt him? i used some it's a two-part epoxy. Mm -hmm. It's called um, Milliput. Milliput. Oh, yes. It's very popular. Often referred to yes. as the brand. Green stuff. Green stuff sometimes. It's kind of a name brand. They're all, yeah. And then I just types. used some scraps to make the sword blade. Mm -hmm. And then I took some bushes that I have and glued them down because if you've ever played Zelda, you know that. And you got the bushes, bushes from a training set, right? Yes. I try to hoard all that stuff because... If you can just have those tiny little details that are, like, near impossible to make, mm -hmm. and then you can just kind of put them in, it makes things look infinitely better. Mm -hmm. And then I took some little wood scraps. Yeah? Um, also wood or something like that? Yeah, um, anyway, a little bit of wood. Yeah. And 
then painted them kind of broke them up mm -hmm. and put them there and there to make it look like um wreckage wreckage from a shipwreck mm -hmm. if you've ever played the game you saw and mm -hmm. then as a final detail i added some of the um resin, resin on to link and the sword so to he make looks them wet. Look wet right um so yeah i made that fun little thing because i mm -hmm. thought it'd be cute <laughs> actually that's really cool I like it. It's really cool. I just had fun with it. And it was a cool project. So you've taken that, like a, a tin after eating the candy. Did you yeah. brush your teeth? Yes. Oh, good. And then you've taken it and you've turned it into a piece of artwork. Yeah. Honestly, I pretty much just bought the candy because I thought it was a cool tin. Yeah. Well, and it's then... It's a really nice tin. Uh, yeah, like, it's honestly. It's very well made. And also, it's Link related. Oh, yeah. I'm a huge mm -hmm. nerd for that kind of thing, yeah. so... And then you... Yeah, upscaled it into something really quite fantastic i think anyway yeah i'm really happy with it now what are you going to do with it just keep it on your um on your display shelf yeah i'm probably going to set up like another display shelf for this kind of thing mm -hmm. i'm going to end up just with a wall of nerd stuff and then you can take that say to the island entertainment expo and show it off to your friends yeah yeah i just think it's cool and I enjoyed making it. Yeah. This kind of thing is stuff I make all the time. I do stuff like kit bashes mm -hmm. of minis for D and D games and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I just do every nerdy thing imaginable. But it's really cool. The, the most fun part was having just a limited space to work with. You like the the, the constraints of yeah. the. Yeah. Uh... I think creativity comes from constraints. Interesting. If you're limited, then you have to get creative of how you handle the situation. Like, how do I do this? I Answer, kind of agree with you, actually. You gotta be creative. You can't just, like, oh, I can do literally anything I want. Mm -hmm. That's why drawing is impressive. If yeah. everybody could just, like, have an idea in their head and then put it on a page instantly, yeah. it wouldn't be impressive or yeah. interesting there would be no creativity art styles or anything so being able to have limitations allows art to express how people get around them which is how stylized pieces are created y yes <laughs> i just went into a whole rant about how style exists over a tiny tin yeah but anyway wow i know this isn't fountain pen related but it is really cool and i it's hope you like the video if you like the video give us a thumbs up yeah uh, have you ever made little dioramas like this do you enjoy zelda do you enjoy are you looking forward to the new zelda release are yeah. you Yes. Uh -huh. Although I'm pretty sure Anna would kill me if I tried to play it first. <laughs> well, well, you. I know you're have... a pretty big Zelda fan. We're all Zelda fans around yeah. here. Yeah. Anyway. It's a great you'll game. Have to, we'll have to get a couple copies. One, you'll have to yeah. get a copy for yours. Which, anyway. anyway. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe and hit the like buttons and hit the notification yeah. bell. It's been great seeing Mostly what we do talk about is fountain pens, stationery, and ink, but we do talk about a lot of art, too. Yeah. And I hope to talk to you soon. See you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's really cool. Yeah. I love it. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day, everyone.